Our London's uh, God and his... Mm. I think Roy London taught me uh, everything about art and uh, organic acting, being, writing, uh, more than I ever learned from anybody. Acting teacher, uh, uh, un unspeakable how, uh, how much insight he had, how many people he helped. Uh, really understood the core of what human beings deal with and cover and struggle with in their life. Before he died, he said, it's all about love. He said, every choice comes from, one, from trying to connect with love. That's what he said in his dying breaths. Uh, in class, he said, uh, can you bring your vision of life and what you want life to be and the world to be into your work, even as an actor? In other words, much bigger than what the dialogue would be. Do you have the courage to discover something new about yourself while the camera's rolling and absorb what that really means? How willing are you to, in that scene, actually discover something new about yourself that would normally be in private? And that's uh, what great actors do. I think. Uh, I, I can't say how well or not I do that. It's uh, something I just uh, try my best at. He's a genius. Um, uh, yeah. You know, that's the mentor. That is the mentor who says you've got something in there that's and with each person, he could see the essence. He said, you must bring that essence. And uh, that's not stuff you're brought up with. You're supposed to fit into society. You're supposed to do this or act this way or be this way. Or, you know, uh, 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 do you have the courage to be just the opposite of that? He worked on every script of It's Gary Shandling Show, which was not necessarily a deep show, but we worked on deeper themes as an actor in it. I was playing much different things than was in the script. And every week we'd work, so he'd have this talk with me every week, and he would deconstruct what's happening there and how that applies to your personal life and what are you bringing personally when you're saying that line. You're not really saying, we can jump to Sanders, which he also helped me with the first two years. You're not really saying to Hank, uh, you're an idiot. You're saying you love him. <laughs> You're desperately trying to tell him you love him. You idiot. <laughs> so it doesn't come out like you idiot, like, you know, like a mean guy saying you idiot, if there is something else going on there. Because I'm trying to get him to understand that I love him, let's say. That's Roy London.